I'm David from Red Wagon Dioramas, of course. I'm just gonna get my camera set up here a little bit. And I'm uh, gonna have some fun today. Oh, come on, if my camera will hold. Yeah, of course, I thought I had it all set and then it all came loose. Well, I will have to edit out this, uh, this part, obviously. Anyway, <laughs> let's give it a shot. I'm not going to mess with that too much. Anyway, welcome. Good to see you, see you guys. Um, so I decided to do a live stream this weekend. Hey, Jared, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, because I've got so many figures that I've been picking up over the last uh, month or two, and they've just been piling up. And a lot of times I try to, you know, maybe do a review or something. Actually, I don't do a lot of reviews, but occasionally I'll do a review. But when I picked up like, you know, I got four Black Series figures sitting here and I just don't have the time to, to do reviews and all that. So I decided I'd get right into just kind of doing an unboxing and give you guys my first impressions as I open these figures up and just have some fun with it. So I'll start with the Black Series because that's the main reason you guys are probably at my channel and my main collection obviously behind me. But so I've got, I've got four Black Series here. I've got the new Churret from Rogue One just came in from Barnes and Noble a couple days ago. I was kind of surprised to see it there, but got a good deal on that, 10% off and free shipping and all that with my membership, so worked out. And then I've got the uh, Gaming Greats from Fallen Order, the uh, Flame Trooper. I know this one's been out for a while, but I have not opened him yet, and I want to see what he's like and how he compares to like the old classic Snow Trooper. And then also from GameStop, I've got the... Uh, the uh, what do they call it? The Jet Trooper or Rocket Trooper? What do they call this guy? Rocket Trooper. So, from Battlefront 2. So, we got two of the gaming greats. The uh, Churrit Way, And then Admiral Rampart from Bad Batch. So, he came in from Walmart a couple days ago. And he's got that awesome, huge <laughs> mouse droid in there. I It's funny. I have a mouse droid here, which is what I've used in my, uh, my Black Series collection before. And this came with the 3.75 inch... What was it? Uh... Hux, right? Yeah, he came with this. And so I thought this was a good size for Black Series, but now I compare it to, to this guy. It's just ginormous. So I'll open that up. I'm probably probably going to open up him first because he's, he's the one I'm most excited about. And we'll see what uh, we got here. So what else? let's see. Let me, let me see if I can tilt this camera down a little bit without like totally killing everything. Let's see what that view is. Yeah, can you guys see that there? All right, I think I'll do it right here. I'll open it up right here. And, uh, hey, can you guys give me a chat back? Just, uh, can you hear me? Can my audio okay and everything? Just wanna make sure you guys can hear everything. So this is obviously Vice Admiral Rampart from the Bad Batch show. Maybe he'll be uh, have a bit larger role next season. I don't know, but he's kind of was set up as the new bad guy. So the way I opened my Black Series, I was just slice the bottom there. And uh, that way I can keep the box. Thanks, Jared. Thanks for uh, the sound check there. So here we go. Set the box aside. You guys already have this figure? I, I, I know a lot of people, this was a Walmart exclusive, so you had to kind of get in there on the pre-orders, and then they uh, they delayed my pre-order, and then I actually ordered him again just last week or so when he came up again, and that's how I got him. The original two that I had ordered, I ended up canceling because they were going to take, I don't know, they were delayed sometime in December or January. All right, let's get him open. cameras. I'm going to have to flip them over for you guys. So there's the, again, the mouse droids here, 3.75 inch general Hux, which is a cool little mouse droid. It's got wheels that turn and everything. But man, the size of this one for black series, a lot heftier. Also got the wheels that turn. It's got a little bit of a, 
it's actually got some uh, some good paint on it. It's, you know, it's probably molded in black or dark gray, and then they've got some some washes on it. Kind of looks dirtied and beat up a little bit. Um, if you can see that, and they got some little silver highlights on the edge. So it's actually put put some paint into this. That's nice. Cool little piece. It's big. It's big. All right, let's take a look at General or Admiral Rampart here. Get a good shot of his face. Move him over here center for you. So bear with me as I flip him over here to look at him myself. Huh. Yeah. Nice portrait, nice uh, facial expression. He's got kind of that, that stern look to him. As an Imperial officer should. And the body here, I wanted to compare him. I've got Tarkin here. Let's see, I've got Veers. Oh, I don't have Tarkin, do I? This is Admiral Piet. Where is Tarkin? I have Tarkin somewhere on my shelf here. Let me grab him. All right, here's Tarkin. So all these guys basically have the same body. They're just doing head swaps and, of course, the uh, rank badges being different. Um, oh, and the bars. All right, so Veers, I, you know, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not a military guy, so I don't know how the, you know, the typical uniform rankings go but uh that's basically the difference here so admiral rampart he's got the uh yeah he's actually very close to uh piet just except for the other the other bar on his uh right shoulder isn't there or he's got two on each shoulder and piet doesn't and tarkin has two on each but as far as the figure exactly the same Color scheme is good. The uniforms match up nice. I'm glad with that, you know, that the, uh, the paint is consistent amongst these figures, you know, as they were made over the years. So they look good together as a group. An articulation. He's got, you know, this standard kind of elbow swivel there. Rotation at the shoulder. No butterfly joints on these officer figures. Head's got, boy, not much up and down at all on this guy's head. Pretty rigid. A little bit of a nod. You know, obviously good swivel back and forth and no tilt. That might be because of the old the old uh, neck here. Tarkin has a little bit of tilt to him. Veers, by the way, I think is one of the best Black Series figures ever made with all the accessories he came with. You know, with his uh, Hoth gear and helmet and armor and then the you know, his regular officer's hat. Piet here. A little bit more tilt on him. So I don't know why Rampart here is so stiff in the neck, but uh, maybe that's his personality. I don't know. <laughs> and, you yeah, know, standard legs. You know, you're not going to do much with these guys, obviously, as far as, far as posing. Just going to have them standing there looking stern. But... Another great figure to add to my officer's shelf, my officer's setup, and of course to uh, pose with the Bad Batch figures. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the mouse droid's a real nice touch. This is pretty cool. Oh, hey, Mike. I just saw your, your comment there. Yeah, that's cool. Popping in and back out the door to go to Walmart and Targets. <laughs> yeah, but, uh Always hunting, right? Always hunting. Always checking for the new figures if they're going to show up. Uh, I didn't go out hunting at all this weekend. Um, did a bunch last week. I posted that big toy hunt video. Um, so I haven't been out there this weekend to see if anything new showed up. I'm looking. I know the archive wave is going to show up pretty soon for Black Series. You know, with the uh, with um, the Leia and uh, Obi Wan and the, it was Revan, right? And the and the um, uh, Anakin's trooper, the blue guy. Why can't I remember the? Um, 
Anyway, we'll see if those guys show up soon. I've got a couple of those on pre-order from GameStop. All right, so I'm going to set those guys aside, and I'm going to open up Chariot Imwe next. Great figure. Obviously, awesome character from Rogue One. And uh, it's good that they did a face update on these figures. I know it's a you know it's another kind of money grab for Hasbro putting out the same figures again, but those figures are they're great characters, great character designs. The figures are great from the first release. It's just they didn't have the face technology at the time. So I think it's actually good for them to re-release the Rogue One crew and add Bodhi to it, obviously. Because these guys definitely needed that updated face printing. All right, Mike, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. It's funny, the back of the box here, deeply spiritual. Chirrut Imwe believes all living things are connected through the force. Though he lacks force abilities, this warrior monk has rigorously honed his body through intense physical and mental discipline. Yeah, that was a cool character in that. And obviously a heroic scene at the end of the movie when he sacrifices himself. All right, so flip them over for you guys. Same figure we got before. This is a nice figure. It's got some soft goods on it. Um, really good sculpt and design. And we pop out the weapons. He's got this bow caster type thing here. And he's got his staff. And he's got a little bit of a rubbery cape that sticks through, so bear with the noise here. Darth Vader's talking in the background. Let me flip this over for a sec. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm having trouble with my my camera stand here. What is going on? Super Green Ruby Rod, Ruby Road. Harry, new here. What's good fair price for a bland, brand new Black Series figure? Bear with me, Ruby. I'm getting this thing all set up here. Boy, this sucks. That's what you get for buying a cheap, uh, cheap phone stand, right? Yeah, that's my collection behind me, Black Series. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do and pop this out for a sec. And you guys can get a good view there. Set that down here for a sec while I adjust my phone stand here. But yeah, I've been collecting Black Series for about five years. No, not five. Yeah, about four, four years or so. And uh, got a big setup here behind me, obviously. There we go. For some reason this thing is being real problematic. And I got into Black Series because I love the, uh, the articulation of the figures and the um, just the detail and everything and posing them and everything. I hadn't collected Star Wars since I was a kid, really, but uh, it's uh, been a fun hobby to get into. Kind of expensive. So to answer your question, uh, Super Green, what's a fair price for a brand new Black Series figure? It's retail price. I mean, it's $22.99 right now. Used to be $19.99. Walmart, you could get them for maybe around $18. Bucks. Uh, but prices are going up, and it's just becoming a more expensive hobby, obviously. But if you're going to buy it new, a new figure, yeah, you're going to pay $23 to $25, bucks, depending where you buy it. And if you want to buy it secondhand from somebody who's opened it up, you know, it's reasonable for you to get it for maybe $5 less, $4 or $5 less, but you're still going to be paying... 16 17 dollars probably for a, a newer figure that's in good condition and then some of the older figures that are not as desirable anymore you can get some of those for you know 10 or 12 bucks but oh yeah <laughs> ruby rod from the fifth element i love that movie I, I thought that's what it was but i didn't know you spelled it with the uh, r-h-o-d like that but yeah that was chris tucker's character right that was a, that was a great movie um 
Yeah. Pro All right, I'm back. Not sure what happened there with my feed. <laughs> my wife was trying to call me and she interrupted the, the stream. That's all right. Everything okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get back to Chert Mway. Here he is. Got him in my hand here. Here he is with the new. Let's get that to focus. Come on. So, definitely improvement on the original. I don't have the original with me. He's actually boxed away uh, somewhere right now. I haven't had my Rogue One figures out on display for a while. And I wasn't sure exactly where he was before I did the stream. But I can tell you it's greatly improved from the uh, old face painting tech that they used to use on these figures. But as far as the figure, I mean, like I said, this is a great figure. It's got good accessories. This bowcaster has a lot of detail on it. It's got silver paint, gold paint, all that. Um, collapses, folds down. So you can get them in kind of a two-hand shooting pose. Um, or you can, you know, honestly, I didn't use the bowcaster when I had them posed. I just had them with the staff. And uh, holds the staff great. He's got kind of a, a good small grip on both hands. His right hand is kind of an up and down wrist. And the left is a you know, palm up and down. So it's, uh, it's easy to get them in a two-handed pose with the staff or uh, otherwise, however you want to do it. But anyway, great looking figure. Um, I am probably going to pick up the rest of the Rogue One crew as they, as they are released and update the ones I have. Again, same figure, exactly the same figure that came out a couple years ago. It's just the new face paint, um, the photo reel paint tech on the face. Let's see. Yeah, guys, I'm open for questions. Anything, uh, you have any Q&A or stuff? You know, I have, obviously on my channel, I have a lot of my dioramas posted there. And uh, I got into dioramas because of the Black Series collection. I wanted to display them a little, you know, more dynamically. And, and so, the, you know, I started basically learning how to do craft dioramas. And, you know, that's how I did the Hoth one there behind me. And I've got a couple other. I've got, you know, I've got a Yoda Dagobah set here and then a Bespin behind me. and. Emperor up there and a Jabba set up. And uh, yeah, check out my channel. You can see the dioramas that I've made. And uh, I also have some short clips on, I haven't covered some of them in depth yet, but I will get to uh, posting full figure, full, full videos soon. Um, Super Green, Ruby Rod, which figure is my favorite? I think I have a couple favorites in the Black Series, but I'm going to go with this guy up here. This guy is my favorite Black Series figure, I think. The Gamorrean Guard is just an awesome figure. Uh, if you guys don't have this one, um, try to get it. He's got an articulated jaw, so you can do some awesome posing there. He's got really good articulation. He's got soft goods for his uh, little skirt piece there. And for a big, for a large, bulky figure, uh, lots of you know, really good posability and articulation. The paint job's awesome. And he comes with, what, like three three weapons, a staff, and two axes. So he was a deluxe figure when he came out, and he was hard to find. And then, then he became more available, and they actually re-released him, I think, earlier this year or last year. GameStop had him again. And, of course, he's going to come with the uh, Rancor, right, with HasLab. So if you're a Rancor backer, you're going to get another one of these guys. But, yeah, my favorite Black Series figure, I think, is going to be this guy. And there's a lot of good ones, like Captain Rex, awesome figure. Um... I don't know, just looking at my shelf. A lot of the Mandalorian figures they put out last year are really good. Um, Count Dooku, Ventress. Um, even the Ewoks. <laughs> I don't know. I like all the... My, my, my favorite movie from Star Wars has is, is always been Return of the Jedi because that hit the sweet spot when I was a kid. So anything from Jedi, um, like the, the Gammy here, is uh, really does it for me. But uh, so I'm really looking forward to next year when they uh, when the 40th anniversary of Jedi comes up, and I'm sure they're going to release some new figures, and you know, got some in the pipeline they probably haven't told us about. Really excited to get Bib Fortuna. Um, that's going to be a great figure to have, and 
I actually made one of my customs was a bit Fortuna. The first, first like really difficult custom I made was this guy because I really wanted him in my collection with Jabba. And, uh, you know, the head is a resin cast head, one of the flex resin ones from Outer Rim Traders, and the body was an old emperor body. And then I used some old brown denim material to make this uh, crude uh, coat and then sculpted the little arm gauntlets and the, uh, the breastplate there. But uh, that's how much I loved uh, Jedi and, and Bib Fortuna is I've actually tried to make a custom for him because Hasbro wasn't making him yet. So I'm very excited to get the official bib when he comes out, hopefully soon, and uh, any other figures that they release from, from Jedi. Yeah, the Grand Inquisitor, I agree. The uh, Inquisitors are really cool. Um, all I have is, well, all we have is Second Sister, right? That's all we have, and that's from the Jedi Fallen Order show. Um, they should make a Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Oh, hey, Moritz, how you doing, man? Yeah, Return of the Jedi, same for me. Yeah, and I'm very excited for Star Wars Book of Boba Fett. I, um, you know, we have Disney Plus, and I watched, there's a new documentary on there that just released yesterday for Disney Plus Day on, on Boba Fett. It's really cool. I just watched that today, and just going back through the, it's like, you know, just a mini documentary on the character and how Boba Fett started and, and uh, the phenomenon that he became, uh, despite having so few lines in the movies and you know, just like six minutes of screen time and now he's getting his own show. So I think, I think it's great. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to what they do with Book of Boba Fett and kind of filling in the blanks with, uh, after Jedi, what happened in the Sarlacc pit. I'm sure they're going to cover that. I'm betting we're going to get some Rancor action. Um, I, I, I'm very excited for it. I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably more excited for that than, than Mandalorian at this point. And I love the Mandalorian for the same reasons. So, all right, so I got Churrit opened up. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy. This is the other new, newer figure I got from the Gaming Greats. This is from um, the video game Jedi Fallen Order, which is a game I did play quite a bit on the PlayStation 4 uh, when it came out. It must have been two years ago now. And uh, it's a fun Star Wars game for sure. This is one of the troopers in the game that has a flamethrower. Keep that. I get a sense of the helmet there. He's got a pretty cool looking flamethrower. No flames though. And he's got a different kind of backpack there. I see my lights just popped on I have a I have a clapper plugged the lights are plugged into a Darth Vader clapper so when it hears a loud noise it pops the lights on or pops them off uh, it's pretty funny and he, he talks when it whenever it triggers all right so this is kind of based on the old like Ralph McQuarrie type stormtrooper helmet design which is uh pretty cool there um it kind of looked odd in the game I'll be honest in Fallen Order like I didn't really think much of these guys and I, and I honestly wasn't going to get this figure but I really you know I ended up really liking the game and so I decided to order it um just because it's it's fun to have a little different trooper on your shelf with uh with everything else so these are my first impressions I have not really watched any reviews on this guy um I'm, I'm kind of interested in this backpack right now it's got some kind of a hose for the for the flamethrower with some canisters there it's nicely detailed it's got some nice paint on it a little red and black on the buttons and the gray. The figure itself is pretty minimal as far as paint. You've got a couple different shades of of white and off-white and uh, some light gray tones with the figure. You know, obviously this is very reminiscent of the snow troopers from Empire Strikes Back. So very little head articulation just because of the way the, the hood is on these guys. Arms swivel around. You got elbows to 90 degrees. You got the classic double knee. That's from the old, old style figure. And the rubbery cape is uh, has a good amount of flexibility to it. Pretty good. Let's see this. Let's check out this flame 
frame flamethrower weapon here. Let's see if you can hold that too well. Uh, my wife is chiming in on the chat now. No flames, not a good deal. Yeah, I know. You couldn't give us a, a flame effect with this guy. So I'm not sure. I guess the hose, okay, the hose just plugs in right here to the bottom. That's interesting. It's just a uh, straight plug there. And uh, can you hold it? Boy, it's tough. Some of these figures, you know, the, the grip, the plastic is really tough and hard and you got to just kind of roll the fingers open like that and then you can usually get them to grip grip the rifle so check that out so that actually wasn't too difficult get them in a two-handed pose there i'll probably do some uh pictures later uh posing these guys oh i spoke too soon his other hand popped out the grip well anyway you got a little bit of a uh, red paint here on the the tip of the uh cannon i like the design you know the design of the of the flamethrower is nice it's a large large weapon um try to hold it still i know i'm moving around so fast for you guys but anybody else have this figure yet you guys pick this one up i think he looks pretty good let me find my snow trooper here where did i put him there he is Okay, so here is the Black Series Snow Trooper. And as I'm looking at him, it is the same cape. Okay, I thought maybe the uh, kind of the skirt piece was, was different, but it's the same exact molded piece. The pouch there on the side. And the Snow Trooper has a darker, kind of a dirtier paint style to the, uh, the boots and the bottom of the cape. And a little more... I don't know, kind of like a um, more bonish white color to the, some of the parts of the arms and the chest. This guy's a little beat up. He's a little dirty. He's been played with a bit. I do play with the dark, with the uh, Black Series figures, and, and especially with my sons. Over the years, the last few years, we just, we've done a lot of a lot of uh, Star Wars play with these guys. So they're not just collector display items for me. We do get them down and put them in the snow sometimes and have some fun. But yeah, basically the same figure. You got the, uh, it's funny, the shoulder pads. I'm sure other reviewers have probably pointed this out. You got the shoulder pads are flipped upside down. Uh, the, just the pattern there. It's it's uh, almost the same shoulder pads. They just, they swapped them over. And the knee pads look the same. And the arm gauntlets are a little different. What do we got? Yeah, the gauntlet, the lower forearms are a little different on the new guy. So there you go. That's a very similar figure. Cool figure. I like it. As I have it in hand here, yeah, it looks pretty good. Here's Cal Kestis, obviously, the deluxe figure from GameStop. And uh, got him holding all his lightsabers here. But uh, these guys are going to go well together. I'm going to face them off. What have you guys picked up lately? You guys, uh, so, Super Green, you said you're a newer collector. What are some of the figures you've you've collected so far? What have, what have you picked up? And uh, Moritz, I know you were commenting on some of my other videos. Do you have a big collection or newer collection? Or what, what's, how much, how far into Black Series are you guys? That's what I'm, I'm interested in. Because, uh, you know, I started, I think, 2017, I think around Christmas, I picked up a Kylo Ren and as soon as I saw the figure with all the articulation and the detail, and I wasn't used to six inch scale figures at that time, but uh, kind of fell in love with them and started buying them after that and grew to what you see behind you here. Um, just <laughs> real easy to, 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 to spend money on these guys because they're a lot of fun. Well done. Oh, you're restarting your collection, you know, considering it. Yeah, well, it's a good time. They, they've really improved. Uh, the figures that they've been making. They've, they've made some great improvements on the face print and the articulation. The new Stormtrooper is a good example. If you compare a new Stormtrooper to one of the old ones, there's a lot better range of motion. Uh, it's just engineered differently. So they're, they're, they're making some advances. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna open up this guy, Gaming Greats. 
This is the Rocket Trooper um, from Battlefront 2. Now they re released a previous version of this figure, which I have back here. Let's see if I got this guy on a flight stand. But uh, we'll take him off of here. So this was the previous release of this Rocket Trooper from GameStop as well. And he was, I think they called him a captain, or I don't know what, they, they had the yellow pauldron, so he was designated as one of the, you know, a squad leader of sorts. So this new one is supposed to be kind of the, the average grunt that, that goes along with him. Um, again, I just picked up one of these just because I uh, just wanted to add them to the collection, but I'm not army building them or anything. Take a look. Uh, Moritz says you have about 40 figures now. You started collecting November last year. Yes, yeah, so you're about 12 months in and you got 40 figures. That's you know, I think that's what I hear is that's pretty average. You know, they're again, it's it's real easy to pick up two or three here or there, especially if you're buying them, you know, secondhand on the on like Facebook Marketplace or Mercari or eBay or whatever. You can get a lot of figures. You know, if you're a new collector and you don't mind, you know, out of box, if you want to collect them loose, it's really easy to pick up lots of figures, you know, three or four or five, six figures, whatever, for around 10 bucks each. And that's a good way to start out. Um, you're not going to get the harder to find ones usually that way with the greater value, but you can definitely uh, go from a small collection to a pretty big one pretty quick with some of those kind of purchases. Sorry, I'm messing with his fingers here. I'm just trying to get his hand open so he can put his second hand on the blaster here. This uh, blaster is really rubbery. It's kind of weird. It's like very flexible. You see that? I don't get it. They, they changed the plastic they used. Uh, you know, some of the, like the new clone troopers have like really hard plastic for the weapons. And then this is a blaster that's like super, almost squishy rubbery. So, anyway, here he is. You got the rocket trooper. And uh, it looks good. It's the same figure as what I had before. It's nice that they do have a, a holster for the uh, blaster here. So it slides right in real easy. This is the older Stormtrooper kind of elbow, the double pinned elbow. So the newer ones don't have the pins there. And same with the knees, same thing, double pinned knees. So you get a lot of articulation with these double elbows and everything, um, but limited on a lot of the troopers because of this upper arm armor piece. It digs into the elbow there. so you get less than you, you typically would because of the way the Stormtrooper armor is. So a lot of collectors really are, are happy with the new Stormtroopers that have the different kind of elbows and knees um, because you get you do get bigger, better range of motion generally, and what you, it looks better. It has a better look to it um, as far as when it's posed on the shelf. So here he is again with the, uh, the first version, exactly the same figure. It's just that the first one has the yellow uh, shoulder pad on the left shoulder there. Paint looks good. Oh, the uh, this first one has the yellow stripe too on the, the top of the helmet. And it has some blue on the helmet, whereas this guy's got all gray. So those are the only differences I'm seeing. Jetpack uh, looks, I guess the hoses are different. Yeah, gray hoses versus black hoses. Some of the, uh, yeah, some of the black is gray now on the newer figure. But uh, these are cool. I mean, the jetpack's cool. This this is a figure I do recommend you picking up. It's just fun. Um, the hoses, jetpack will pop off, you know, just pegs in there. And you can disconnect these hoses pretty easily, though I have broken one of them in the past, so be careful. But a little heat, they'll pop out. and, and uh, Not that you would need to, but just in case you're curious. So very cool figures there. Um, like this. This is nice. Just I'll pose these, you know, display these two together. And uh, they're fun. So who's still watching? We got seven folks in here. 
say hi if you haven't commented yet. I love seeing comments. And again, any questions or anything, I'm happy to happy to qu answer any questions you guys might have. Um, I wanted to talk about the Rancor a little bit. I'm um, just curious for those of you guys watching, are you guys interested in backing the Rancor or have you already backed it? Um, the Rancor, of course, is Hasbro's new Kickstarter project. Um, we have, I'm just looking at the website right now. It's got how many? 23 days left for funding. So it's, I think that's December 6th, I think. And right now they have 5,900, 5,092 backers. They need 9,000 in order to make the, make the Rancor. Um, and that first tier, which is that Gamorrean Guard on the uh, card back, when does that release? I think that's 11,000 backers. So, yeah, and they have three other tiers, you know, listed with question marks. They're not telling us what those are, but um, I have decided to back the Rancor. I did pull the trigger last week and uh, signed up for one because obviously I'm a huge Black Series collector. And I, you know, like I said, I'm a big fan of Return of the Jedi, my favorite film. So it just makes sense. I think um, I think I, w I w really will enjoy the Rancor, even though it's gonna be huge. Um, I'm probably gonna put it up there on the top of my display shelf, because that's the only place where I have, whatever, 18 inches of height of space. These cubes are 15 inches, so he's not gonna fit in here with my regular setup. but. Uh, I think it'll be a real fun piece uh, to have, to play with, certainly. Um, to reenact the uh, eating the Gamorrean Guard, fighting Luke and all that. Um, and I just, I just, I decided, you know what, I'm, I want it. I want to back this and I want to support it and, and I'd like to have one. So I, I ordered one. Um, I understand people's hesitancy on it. You know, a lot of people are you know, still on the fence and they really want to see... Um, you know, they really want to see those other tiers and see if it's going to come through or not. What what else we're going to get for the price, which I understand. But uh, I think in the end, I'm watching the last few Haslabs. Um, I didn't watch the barge, but I watched the Razor Crest, which I did order. And I watched how they revealed the tiers for that. And they, they try to drag it out. You know, it's a, it's a month-long process for them. They want to keep the marketing um, attention on their project. So they're not going to release everything all at once. They're going to you know, drag it out over time and the more you see the more you'll be on the fence and eventually people will decide yeah we're gonna we're gonna buy into it and then they'll eventually get towards the end and then they'll they'll show us you know they'll probably show us one of those higher level tiers which will be something awesome and that'll you'll see a bunch of people like i'm expecting several thousand people will you know decide to buy whenever they release you know reveal what tier three or tier, tier four is but in my experience watching yeah watching the other has labs the sentinel Really, Galactus. Um, Galactus was like that. Uh, they only showed the first figure, which was Silver Surfer, which was a repack. And that's what we have right now, Gamorrean Guard, a repack. Um, it wasn't until they showed some of the other uh, Herald figures, and still it wasn't exactly what people wanted, but the last one that they revealed was a totally new tooled figure. And that got everybody's attention, and all of a sudden Galactus like was massively successful. So, I mean, way outpaced all their goals um, in the last week or so. So I think the Rancor is going to get funded. Um, I do want you guys to go ahead and back it if, if, you're, uh, if you're into, uh, you know, if you, if you think it's something you'd like. You know, go ahead and pull the trigger now because it helps the momentum go to get to those tiers. And, uh, but I think it will get funded at the end. And I think we'll see a big, you know, groundswell of support right at the end of the, of the campaign. So anyway, just my thoughts on that. Oh, yeah, I can hear the rain outside just start pouring. So tornado warning. That's crazy. I'm in New England, so the tornadoes do not happen here in New England very often. So I'm going to keep going a little bit longer, though. We'll see uh, if I, if we lose power or something, then that's that's what happened. But uh, I'm going to hang in here for a little bit because I got some more figures to open up. All right. Oh, what are my thoughts on the Obi-Wan series concept art? Yeah, plenty of figure potential there as well. Yeah, that was cool. I looked at that. I saw that yesterday as well on Disney+. Plus. Um, again, yeah, should be awesome. You know, if they're going to bring back Obi-Wan and Vader and explore the 
you know, the galaxy during that time period. It's going to be cool. I, yeah, I'm very excited for that. I love that all the guys that are in charge right now, Dave Filoni and uh, um, Favreau and, and others, are all kind of like me um, in our 40s, grew up <laughs> with, the, with the original movies and now are in the positions of, you know, making that content and, and create, you know, basically can bring back all the stuff from our childhood we loved and, and, and have another go at it. So I, I think it's great time right now to be a collector and a fan of Star Wars because if you grew up with it, kind of in our age range, age range um, and I guess younger collectors too, but there's just a lot of energy and passion right now um, in the people working at Lucas and you know Disney and all the you know the guys that have the power are really interested in revisiting all this nostalgia. So I think that's really fun. It's a cool place to be right now. Um, so I'm excited being a Star Wars fan. It's 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 been great right now. All this new content coming. All right, what would you guys like to see next? What would I like to see next? Doesn't matter what you guys want. It's what I want to open up. Um. I want to look at these Galaxies of Adventure figures I got. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, this week, Walmart has been selling these. Um, actually, these two were from Amazon, the the uh, Stormtrooper and the Mando. Um, I got those a couple months ago from Amazon, but the Boba Fett I picked up last weekend at one of my local Walmarts, and he's part of a new wave, which has Ahsoka and Maul and the 332nd Trooper, I think. My Walmart was all cleaned out. I didn't. They didn't have any of the other three figures, but I got the last Boba Fett. So I'm going to open him up and see what he's like. And if you're not familiar with this line of figures, this is called Star Wars Galaxies of Adventures. They're like five inch, five inch figures. They're they're smaller than Black Series, and they have less articulation. Uh, they're more for younger kids to play with, but they have a decent amount of detail and articulation. They're still kind of fun. And um, I had picked up some of these a year or two ago, actually, at Walmart when they clearanced them out. These were, by the way, are only five bucks right now at Walmart. So if you happen to have a Walmart near you, go by and check it out. They ha they're they selling um, a Darth Vader, um, a Kylo Ren, a 3PO, a Chewie, a Han. The Chewie is really cool. Actually, I think the Chewie is my favorite of this line of figures. He's, he's got a lot of style to him. It's He's fun. And I don't have him with me, but um, here's an example. This is their Luke Skywalker that they did. Um, and he came out, I think, last year at Walmart, Jedi Luke. And he's a pretty cool figure. He's got, he actually has a play feature. He's got a spring-loaded lightsaber strike. He lifts his arms up and he comes down. So they're made for the little kids. Um, you know, there's no, there's there's a little bit of rocker on the ankle, but there's no, no real pivot. So they're hard to stand up. They're hard to pose. He's got, you know, hip joint, elbow, articulation, you know, the basic... And the head's actually got some good articulation, too. Uh, it's funny, this this figure has a rubbery, um, you know, tunic over it. And if you do pull the tunic off, he's got the shirt, the flap shirt, uh, underneath there. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, let me open up these other ones I got. And you can take a look at those figures if you haven't seen them. Uh, I also have a similar line, the Disney Toy Box figures. And these are also, I guess we'd call them 5-inch figures. They're about the same size. Um, so they're... Just, just stylized, more anima animated style for the figures. They don't really fit with Black Series, but they're fun to collect. And uh, again, aim for you know the younger, younger kids really. Oh yeah, my wife's asking, are they like the Toy Box figures? They are. <laughs> yeah, they're very stylized. So I'm gonna open up the uh, Boba Fett here, take a look, and. Uh, Cardboard backer, kind of a clamshell here. This is what you get. Nice colors, huh? You got the blue and the yellow and the jetpack and the green and the red. Actually, looks pretty good. He's got a rocket thing. I'm not sure what that's for. So I've got got a figure there's his back look at that he's got two pegs there for his backpack and he's got his 
classic blaster there. And there's the jetpack. And what is it? Oh, look at that. The rocket comes right out. Interesting. And I don't know what I got. I got a second second rocket here. This longer piece. Let's go in here too. Oh, is it really spring loaded? It can't be spring loaded. It is. Huh. There it goes. Well, that's a surprise. I had no idea the rocket pack is a uh, is a little spring loaded uh, firing rocket pack there. That's cool. So the uh, the trigger button was the the blue ridge right there in the back, and it shoots right out. So I guess you have the uh, the rocket firing option if you're playing with them, if you're gonna do a battle scene or whatever, or if you just want them for display, you've got the uh, just the regular piece that pegs in there. So that's pretty clever. See, that, that's a neat neat little play feature, you know. And again, these are five dollars, so great deal right now, Walmart. Um, I'll put the backpack on him here. His uh, little cloak here is just a rubbery piece. Very small, actually. Peg that in. It pegs in real nice. I like it. Give him his blaster here. There he is, Boba Fett. So, I'm impressed. It's pretty cool. And his rocket fell out when I flipped him over, but there you go. So he's got single knee, but you got you got a lot of a lot of range of motion. You got the ball jointed hips, very much the style of a Black Series figure, just a little smaller, a little less detail in the sculpting and the molding. Uh, but the paint, you know, the paint is, you know, there's no weathering or anything, but the colors are bright. Uh, it's well painted. Got the classic, you know, the Mandalorian symbol there. And, uh, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Pretty cool little figure. I, I am, I enjoy the uh, little rocket firing feature. That's cool. So there's, there's Boba Fett and there's Luke. I'd say these are the two best of the line and Chewbacca, which I, I mentioned. I don't have him with me, but he's a really good I just like the way he looks. Han Solo's not bad at all either. Um, just for curiosity, here's, if you guys are interested, here's the Kylo Ren. Um, he's okay. It's all right, you know, kind of, he's got, what's his, he's got a, a spring-loaded uh, waist swivel feature, so he's got kind of that slicing action. Again, fun for kids. I'm sure they'd enjoy playing these, playing with these. Um, the worst figure is 3PO. Don't buy a 3PO. <laughs> even for five bucks like even his head fell off on his way over here what a horrible horrible figure um <laughs> i believe you know what he, he's supposed to be the uh you know the dismantled you know blown up 3po from empire so you can you can take them all apart um but he just he doesn't stay together the balls and socket joints just they're too loose and you, you can't get him to stand up at all and that face is just horrendous. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> Paint job's just bad. So while you have a really good figure with Boba Fett and you know Luke and some of the others, you got a really bad one with, with uh, 3PO there. Uh, R2-D2 is actually not too bad. This is the R2 that comes with that line. He comes in a three pack with, with um, BB-8 and Dio from the, the new Skywalker movie, the last movie they did. And 3PO's, or R2's okay. I got him just because I wanted R2 to go with Luke. Um, not that great, but uh, he's decent for what he is. I don't know why I don't have Chewbacca, my favorite one, but here's here's Han Solo. Let's see what he looks like. He's got a good, good facial expression, good smirk, good expression there. I think they did a pretty good job with this guy. I don't know what his play feature is. If he's got, Oh, he's got the spring-loaded uh, right arm as well. Blaster, holster, all that. He's you can get him to stand up pretty well. So I've had those guys pose for a while without stands, but they they do tend to fall over. They're not they're kind of lightweight figures, and they again the the ankle joints don't make it easy to get them to pose. Uh, let's open up Mando. Let's see what he looks like. So, all right, yeah, 
small figure. I mean, just he strikes me as kind of thin, kind of a small frame. Um, rubbery cape, very flexible, more flexible than the Black Series one. Oh, they gave him ankle rockers on this figure. They improved it. Look at that. So this guy should be easier to pose. You got his little, uh, his little pistol with a holster. It goes in there fine. You got his rifle. Actually, not a bad looking uh, rifle. You know, simple, just brown stock and a molded gray plastic for the rest of it. So not much detail, you know, in the paint. Um, his, uh, what does he have for play feature? Yeah, he's got the, uh, the arms go up and down, spring loaded. And the rifle can peg onto his back. There is a rubbery strap there. You line up that peg hole with the peg hole in the back of his torso. Pegs in pretty good. So they haven't done a uh, Grogu yet for this line. They haven't done a Baby Yoda. I don't know if they're going to or what, but uh, actually not a bad looking Mandalorian. You know, again, too small to fit with Black Series. I guess I should give you guys a scale. Where's, here we go. Here's Black Series Mando versus Galaxies of Adventure Mando. Sorry, his head's all jacked up here. Gives you an idea. Yeah, they're a good, good inch, inch and a quarter shorter, you know, these, these, this line than the Black Series, so. But again, fun, fun little figure line. Um, I like it. It's nice silver too on the uh, on the Beskar. It's actually got some reflectivity to it. Looks pretty good. All right, Stormtrooper. Again, this was a two pack from Amazon. You had to buy them together to get. And I really wanted the Stormtrooper just to go with the other ones. So let's see. package he's got a trigger figure for that uh for that blaster it's kind of nice holds it really nicely nice and tight good grip looks like he can you know he's got some clicking in his shoulder there this is, this is oh his wrist is not all right so there's no wrist articulation other than a swivel so there's no there's no bending action you know to to get him to sight down his blaster or anything. So again, limitations in articulation compared to Black Series. But you can get him in a shooting pose. Oh, he wants to, see, he's got his, he's got that spring-loaded feature again. Actually kind of annoying, because I'd like him to come back a little ways. I click him. Huh, he doesn't want to go all the way down. He wants to stay up. Again, the, uh, the ankle rocker there that's nice so i expect i'll be able to get these guys posed a little more easily than than the early wave of figures that i have where is my stormtrooper here black series stormtrooper galaxies of adventure stormtrooper looks like a little he's a little short for a stormtrooper isn't he Sculpt is nice though. Again, paint job pretty good. They do a decent job with the painting, and uh, yeah, definitely something you can give to your kids and not worry about them breaking it. And even if they do break it, you know, there's not much cost here. So I think uh, this is a pretty good figure line for if you got kids and, and younger kids that you don't want to give them your Black Series yet, <laughs> but you want them to play with something. Uh, this is pretty good. So I think that's it's a good. I think the price point on these is normally like ten bucks a figure. So. Walmart discounting for five bucks is, is, you know, half off. And if you buy them second mark, you know, on, the, on eBay or something, uh, they're usually marked up a little bit more, like $13, $14. I have the Yoda from this line too, which I've shown on one of my previous videos. And the Yoda is very nice as well. Fun figure. More, it's the custom blurg on my shelf looks funny. What looks funny about it? Where is he? 
You guys see him up there? Oh, the Blurg, yeah, up to my left. Uh, that Blurg is one of my favorite pieces. I, there's a guy, um, my friend Gary, uh, made that. It's custom, It's 3D printed, custom painted. Uh, he made a saddle for it. It's, it's awesome. I'll show you guys. And we met Gary through uh, one of the Facebook customizing groups, uh, the Star Wars Custom. 112 Galaxy, which is the shirt I'm wearing today, actually. Yeah, they have shirts. Um, but if you want something like this, and he does it in different scales, too, uh, he just did an awesome job. I mean, look at the paint on the eyes and the teeth and everything. And, you know, the suede saddle type thing. I know he's made these for a bunch of people now. I got this from him about, I think, about a year ago. And it's a great piece. Um, sometime Hasbro's got to do a blur. They've got to, because they're missing out. This is a great, great little um, creature that's definitely in scale for Black Series and shouldn't be too hard for them to produce and sell, I would think. So I'm hoping they do a blurg at some point, but I don't really need one. I've got, I've got Gary's. It's awesome. So Gary, if you're watching, awesome job, man. Yeah. Anything else you see on my shelves? You want to have any questions or anything? Let me know. I kind of got my clone, clone wars guys all here. They're, they're not really set up right now. They're kind of falling over and everything, but, uh, yeah. Oh, do I have Quill to go with it? Yeah. I'm sorry. I meant to show Quill. I did grab him. Yeah. Here's, here's Quill. So the Black Series Quill with him. About the scale there. I know the camera kind of does some weird perspective things. But basically, if you sit him up here, Quill's a pretty small figure. So I, I think he looks pretty good up there. Sorry, I'm not taking time to bend his knees and everything right now. But yeah, looks really good. I think the Blurg should be pretty big compared to the, the figures. I've seen some smaller, you know, some smaller made Blurgs and... I think I think the bigger the better. It just looks better that way. Well, guys, the re weather has passed. I can hear the rain has subsided, so I don't I don't I don't hear a tornado out my window anymore, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna keep going here. Uh, what else I got for Star Wars? This is the last thing I've got today. This is the Disney toy box two pack figures. You, get the, you have to get these um, at a Disney store or on their website um, and shopdisney.com. But I've picked up some of these. I have uh, Grievous. He's really fun. Cool kind of stylized version of Grievous. And I have Wrecker on order. And uh, can't pass up Rex and Ahsoka. So I have, I have probably, I don't know, five or six of the other Star Wars figures from this line. I don't have everything. But I like them. I actually like them better than the Galaxies of Adventures figures. They're... They're a little bit more robust, a um, little more, they feel better quality, and uh, they just, they feel, they feel like they're going to last better, you know? Let's open these guys up. So, I've got some, uh, some rubber bands in here. I've got a snip. Where did my scissors go? Packaged with a little bit more care than the Walmart ones. Yeah. How many of these bands do I got here? Yeah, they got they got a band around their waist, a band around their feet. Their weapons are taped in place. Let's see if I can get a soak it out. There's Ahsoka. She's got such a big head on this one. Wow. Again, very much animation style. Look at that. They even gave her saber in the uh, in the alternate grip that she holds them. It's kind of cool to package her that way. So look at that. Nice paint job. It's a good attitude in the face there. A lot of detail. Look at the, the the detail on the on the skirt piece and the they got the armor at least on the shins and the feet. 
in like the Black Series figure. This is actually more more uh, accurate to the uh, Season 7 of Clone Wars. Very cool. I like it. Let's get Rex out here. Get his uh, plastic bands off of him. Jeez. There we go. We got a lot of these in there. All right, so here's Rex. Does his helmet come off? No, no removable helmet. Huh. Look at that rangefinder. So it's, it's molded in. There's not much detail there. Skirt piece, a little bit rubbery. He's got dual holsters here for those blasters. Let's see, those fit in pretty good, I imagine. Goes pretty well. Well, this Rex has two trigger figures, unlike the uh, <laughs> like the Black Series one, huh? This one you can actually do two pistols at the same time. It's always annoyed me. I know many others Black Series collectors with the with the Rex that we have is that the fingers weren't weren't cut to for trigger mode. So um, yeah, just the quality on these figures. For example, compared to those Galaxy's Adventures, the plastic is um, feels more dense. It's harder plastic, generally more better quality. The painting is nice and clean. It, they just feel more solid. Um, they don't have any of the play features. They don't have any of the spring-loaded you know gimmicks, and they're just a little bit more expensive. Like I said, around the same price point, but a little more expensive. Um, but you get get the height here. You actually. Uh, pretty close to scale with these Galaxy Adventures. So you could probably mix and match these two lines uh, pretty well. Here's Han. Here's Boba Fett. Looks pretty good. Yeah, these are fun. I don't know, just fun. Questions. You love the way I opened that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what's an accurate assumption? Oh, I'm trying to get the question. Oh, super good. You said you saw Qui Gon Jinn in my pile of figures next to him. Oh yeah, over here. I have anything from Attack of the Clones and Clone Wars there right now. I haven't I haven't set those guys up there, but yeah, I've got Rex here. Yeah, so here's the Black Series Rex with the one trigger finger, trigger finger. Um, this is, I don't remember, it must be the uh, red box version of him. So he's good. Yeah, you know, I got Rex and Cody and uh, the newer Anakin, you know, from uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan from Target. These are great figures too. I think they did a great job with these. So at some point I'll set up, I want to do a big battle scene over there, but I haven't, I haven't had the time to get into that really <clears throat> uh, super green what was your question about an accurate assumption you don't know a lot about figures uh, yeah what do you mean by that I was just question uh, Morris do I have a favorite clone uh, I would just say Rex this I mean this Rex figure I, I know um, he is the best black series clone figure that they have made uh, Articulation is great. The elbows have a little extra cutout so you can get better better range of motion with the arms, uh, with the elbows. He's got the removable helmet, the face print. Everything is great with Rex. I mean, the fabric comma there. Um, I know he's super expensive if you don't have him. If you're a new collector trying to get him now, you know, whatever, he's probably back up to 80, 90 bucks again. Um, he is worth getting uh, just because the and the paint job, everything. The weathering's really good on this guy. So yeah, hands down, this is my favorite clone figure that I have. Um, so I do recommend trying to pick him up if you can. Oh, okay, so you're clarifying, is it accurate to assume the toy box figures are based on Disney Infinity 3.0? It's an older game that featured Star Wars. Yes, you're right. Um, and my kids do have the Disney Infinity games on PlayStation. So you're right, the toy box figures, that's correct. When that line came out, it was based on the Disney Infinity style characters 
from that game. And then um, Disney Infinity, they, they, they stopped supporting That game ended. They stopped supporting it I know, a couple years ago. But the toy line has continued. The toy box figures are still being made. So, uh, yeah, you can, again, go to Disney's website. That's where you'll find them. And they, they go in and out of stock. They sell quickly. Um, it's actually, they, they go out of stock pretty quick when they, when they put something new up there. Like that Grievous wasn't up for very long. Um, I wish I had him with me. I'd show him to you. But, um, yeah, it is from that Disney Infinity game originally. Man, guys, I've got a pile of, of action figures here in front of me. It's, uh, it's fun. <laughs> oh, what else do I want to do? Uh, let's see. I had, I had something a little different. I've got a Marvel guy here. You guys seen these uh, 3.75-inch Marvel Legends figures they've been doing? I know if you watch my channel, I, you probably see me open some of these. I have been collecting these as well. And this is the new line from Hasbro. Um, the guy who's um, basically in charge of this line is Steve Evans, who used to run Black Series. So Steve is, um, and he's, he's the guy, he hosted that um, Hasbro PulseCon uh, event a week or two ago. Great guy, he's got a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of personality, and he's, he's great at marketing the stuff, so. Um, and he did a great job with Black Series, getting that going. And now he's on the Marvel team and he's pushing these, and I think they're great, he's done a great job. They're, they're retro style cards, nice thick card back, great artwork. The figures are very simple, um, just five points of articulation, sometimes seven. It's not for everyone. But it is for me. <laughs> uh, this this again hits the like nostalgia point for me, with the the three point seven i five inch figures, with uh, kind of that old retro style. The plastic's a little rubbery. There's a little bit of flex, you know, in, in these in the feet and the arms. Get some swivel here. Um, Vision was one that I had only found one before, so I kept the carded one, and I just got a second one to open up because I'm I'm doing a loose display in my collection room. My other I have another collection room in my house where I have some of the Marvel stuff at. So he's going to go up on there. And uh, again, fun little figure. Um, again, not everybody's into these, but I think for some of us, it's it, it hits a sweet sweet spot for our childhood as well. Kind of like the old uh, Kenner Star Wars figures. You bought the Bad Batch Rex recently. Oh, he doesn't have the Paul. That's right. The new Rex is out. I forgot about that. The new Walmart Rex. So that's the same figure. So you have Rex, then um, it's just with, with the new Bad Batch version, they changed the pauldron, so he's got just kind of that smaller pauldron, and he's got the cloak and the helmet with the visor, right? Uh, I did not order him because I have this one, and uh, he was kind of expensive, like 30 bucks. I thought that was kind of overpriced for him, so I didn't order the new Rex. But if you got him, that's great. Um, same figure, just the pauldron's different. Um, so, yeah, I agree that the classic pa pauldron, I think, does look better. But whatever, it's a, another way for them to release the figure again. Get some more money out of the deal. Um, all right, I wanted to open up some other things here that aren't Star Wars. You guys seen this guy? This big Surtur, the demon god from Thor Ragnarok from the film. Uh, he's just huge. Like This thing is big. So I picked him up uh, when, he was, when Target had their sale on action figures a couple weeks ago and uh, I want to just open them up tonight because I've been looking forward to seeing them and getting them out of the box Ooh, look at that look at that sword wow kind of a cool backdrop too on the cardboard there all the uh Avengers insignias. Wow, this guy is huge. All right. He stands up on his own. Oh, the noise just triggered my lights again. The clapper went on. Look at this sword. This is crazy. It's bigger than my head. So this is Marvel Legends, obviously. Um, we, I do collect some Marvel Legends as well with my son, uh, my 10-year-old, and he likes to play with all those. So 
occasionally I will pick something up like this, and uh, it's just huge. I, it just it's fun. You get a big action figure like this, and Ragnarok. I love that movie. That was a great one of my favorite Marvel movies they've done is, is Thor Ragnarok. So if you guys haven't seen it, you got to give it a watch. It's got a lot of funny humor in it as well as the action. But this sword is boy, it's a really rigid plastic, obviously, to be able to not get kind of uh, flimsy or whatever, but definitely a two-handed grip type weapon here. Look at that. Wow. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Ruby. Uh, Super Green, Ruby Rod. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate it. Um, and it was fun chatting with you tonight, so thanks. Yeah, boy, this guy's got some, he's got some massive legs and just big figure. Man, this is a just, this is fun. Look at that kind of screaming expression. I bet this was fun for Hasbro team to develop. It's got the translucent plastic. All the layers of paint on here, it's kind of interesting. I wonder how they, looks like it's a yellow, kind of a cast in a yellow translucent plastic with a lot of red and orange and then black um, paint applications. This guy looks cool. I'm sure my son is going to want to play with him tonight. This is going to be a big battle going to start. Oh yeah, I've got Thor at home. We've got we've got a bunch of Marvel Legends at home that they will fight against. But uh, very cool. Man, he's just huge. Look how tall that is. Yeah, I mean, that cube is 15 inches tall. So, yeah, he's 15 inches up to the top of his horns, and then that sword's got to be 9, 10 inches long. It's kind of fun, big figure like that. The other Marvel Legends I picked up this week, right here, Mr. Michael Keaton from the Spider-Man movie a couple years ago, The Vulture. This was the re-release that Target just did. Uh, this was a Build-A-Figure originally in, a, in the line of Spider-Man figures from must have been two or three years ago. And it's a really cool figure, and they just but they re-released him. He's got these massive wings, if you haven't seen this. Um, so they re-released him with an updated paint job and these little arm controller things, which are more accurate to the film. And uh, I had a coupon at Target, so I decided to get him. And uh, let's take a look. wings in here. That's the package. The other part of the wings. Comes with a stand. That's nice. There's the figure. Be cool if they would have done an unmasked head for this guy. That would have really sweetened the deal. But so this is a yeah updated head I think I think the head sculpt is the same. I could be wrong on that. I'm not up, you know, up to the details as much on Marvel as I am on Black Series, but I know it's all supposed to be more movie accurate. So, fun figure. I love the character in the movie. I love that film. The movie was great. So we got. There he is. Definitely more greens, that more vibrant colors on this this paint deco than the original figure. The brown is different too. But I think the main thing is that head, that head sculpt. You know how they make figures based on concept art originally, and then they once the movie comes out, it looks different. It's unusual actually for them to get an opportunity to re-release a figure more accurately, but I think that's kind of neat. They did it with this. So he's got this little visor. So it's like, this reminds me of like old G.I. Joe's. Plastic visor just kind of clips in place there. That's cool. That looks nice. Makes it look like more of a, you know, standard kind of pilot uh, helmet there. The wings peg into the back, into that peg hole there. Yeah, this is all different. The silver and everything. This wasn't on the original Build-A-Figure uh, version, so... Here's the main uh, backpack wing part. The 
They added some blue to the rotors here. This is a cool figure, I haven't seen this, but these rotors, the rotors spin and they, they flip. And there's just a lot of, there's a lot of joints and articulation in here. I've seen a warning on one of the groups of that some of these um, tabs, when you click them all together, can get stress, um, stress fractures on there. So you gotta be careful kind of putting this together. But basically, match up the wings. What did I do? I did it wrong. Is it this way? I always get these wrong. Figure out which side is right and left. So that pops in there like that. Nope, did I do it wrong? Huh. I should probably have revisited my original figure before I did this, huh? Well, anyway, I won't bore you guys with this. I'll figure it out later and put it together, but kind of fun one to play with. Again, once he's all put together, the wingspan is pretty big. You get like a, I don't know, it's gotta be like a 20 inch wingspan when he's all spread out. So there's my Marvel Legends. And what else? Any other questions? I'm gonna wrap up here pretty soon, guys. Oh, my wife's saying, you, he's not watching, so you could save that one for a gift. Well, the reason I opened it is because I wanted it for myself. <laughs> I got other ones for him. Yeah, my favorite Marvel movie. Yeah, the Guardians and the, of the Galaxy movie. Yeah, those ones are great. Um, James Gunn's great director and funny stuff. I, I actually think Thor Ragnarok is my favorite. I, I just, I love everything. The humor and, and the, the story and just all the action in there. I think it's, that's probably my favorite Marvel movie as far as fun ones. And then I think, um, what's the uh, Captain America one with, with S.H.I.E.L.D., Robert Redford? That one's probably the best you know, as far as action spy type drama movie that they've done, the more, more serious. Was that the Winter Soldier one or I can't remember now. Anyway, that's a really good one. I, I enjoy Marvel a lot. Um, you know, mostly Spider-Man, X-Men from the, was kind of my, my two properties that I followed a lot as a kid. So it's real fun being, again, being in this time when they're making all these, all this new content. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up with, uh, one more figure that I got from uh, the summer convention series, and this is something totally out of the box, not my normal thing to collect. And this is from Mattel. This is Kevin the Bird from the Pixar movie Up. Look at this thing. Hold it back a little bit. I saw this on their Instagram, I think, when they were advertising. I was like, that is cool. Um, I didn't know it was going to be this big. <laughs> it's pretty tall. This box has got to be, yeah, 14 inches tall or so. And comes with the, the little chicks. You got three of the little babies and a chocolate bar. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to open this up. I've had this for a couple weeks now. And uh, they're calling this their Pixar Spotlight Series. Um, the movie up, just great movie. Loved it. And uh, this bird is just so funny. Um, so let's see what this thing's like. I have not, I, I don't think I've ever bought an action figure from Mattel. I, I don't do, you know, Master of the Universe or any of those. So I don't really have any experience to say other than my collection of, you know, Hasbro stuff of Marvel Legends and Black Series. So let's see what we got. First of all, look at this, yeah, nice backdrop. What, what was it called? What was the name of the falls? Like Adventure Falls or something? The house there? That's cool. And then on the back, you got his uh, silhouette there. So nice cardboard backdrop. That's nice. And then Kevin the Bird. Oh, look at that. It comes with a stand, too. So we've got a... Uh, Pixar stand, that's the ball from Pixar, with uh, five peg holes in there. Yep, his feet do have pegs, uh, peg holes, or five pegs. I don't know if this is standard to this line of figures, maybe all the figures come with the same stand, makes sense. All right, I'm gonna try to get this out, so. 
That folds down. Oh, I gotta snip a little, a little rubber band here. Whew. Sorry for the noise. He's free. So he had a little, uh, little band around his neck there. And he's got shrink wrap plastic around his body and his legs. That must be to keep his legs in position in the packaging. Oh, this guy's awesome. I love him already. There's probably a better way to open this. There's a little zip the plastic right here. Here we go. Peel that back. Try not to cut myself. I guess I gotta hold him back, he's so big. Enrico joined the chat. Hi, Enrico, how are you? You missed all my Star Wars stuff, but if you go back and watch the replay later, I've opened up some Black Series figures and some other Star Wars figures. And now I'm getting to this Kevin the Bird that I picked up from Mattel from the summer, from the Pixar movie, Up. This is so interesting. So he's got, I mean, the colors are awesome, right? Look at this, he's got little articulated wings. Little wings on a on a hinge and a ball joint there. The body is just solid plastic, kind of a hard plastic. The legs, you get, you get like a yeah, kind of like a, a drop or not a drop, just a swivel hip joint. And then uh, okay, ratcheted joints at the knee and at the foot, and then the feet. Kind of have a little bit of ankle you know, pivot there, not much of a rocker there. All right, so you can should be able to pose that in certain in a few different ways. Get them in kind of a walking pose, or even a, I don't know. Let's see, I'll play around with this later. It'll be fun to have just uh, see what you can do with this guy. What's interesting to me here is the neck. So the this whole blue part here is a rubbery piece, and there's actually wire in here. There's a bendy wire in there. And then the head is on a just a swivel joint here and the articulated jaw, the, the beak here. But uh, that's cool. They put a, uh, put a bendy wire piece in the neck there. There he is. Give him some chocolate. Let's take a look at the, oh, and then the uh, little head feathers here, just rubbery, rubbery little peacock feathers there on the top. We set this guy down and take a look at Kevin's children. Kevin the bird. All right, first. Little tiny chocolate bar, crackle chocolate bar. That's funny. We got three little babies here. I'm going to break them. I'm going to try to cut them with the scissors here. That's not going to work. My scissors are too big. Hmm. Try it from the back. Bear with me, guys. I don't want these things are so small. Damage them. All right. Well, I got one of them out. There's Darth Vader talking to me again. Let's take a look here. So we got. <laughs> you know what this is? You see the color? It's actually got a fuzzy coating on it. A plastic. It's a. It's a a soft fuzzy body I don't even know how to describe that with then the plastic head on a you know rotating plastic head there so funny look at that guy so a little it's like peach fuzz on the body this is cute I think I think cute is the word they were going for there baby number two 
same things. Little peach fuzz body. The the uh, eyes are they painted? Oh, the eyes are like cross-eyed, like kind of like that. Uh, what's that crazy chicken in Moana? With the the eyes are going all different directions. And baby number three. So they're all this, they're all basically the same. Um, they just have the uh, the eyes painted at different positions. It's funny. So we got three little babies. I don't know if these guys have names. Anyway, those are super cute. So, Kevin and her babies. There you go, movie up. I think, I gotta say, well done, Mattel. This thing looks awesome. Um, very cool that they did this character as a figure. And uh, I think they did a decent job at it. It looks really good. So, it's a fun pickup for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. So I'm going to wrap up here soon. But uh, any last questions or anything for my channel, any of the Black Series collection behind me, dioramas, anything like that. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching. And if you're watching this after it was live, thank you for sticking through it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of my enjoyment of opening up these figures. And... Uh, what I enjoy collecting. It's fun to be able to share that with you guys. And uh, it's a wonder of YouTube is finding other people with like-minded interests. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what I, what happens uh, the next few months or so. I do, every at the end of the month, I usually do a short video called Six Figures a Month where I just show my top six figures from that month. So stay tuned for that on my channel at the end of each month. And uh, yeah, Super Greens, nice chatting with you. Thanks for stopping in and uh, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Have a good uh, rest of your weekend. Um, and then I'll be doing some other videos too with, with other Black Series collections and some of the custom figures that I've made and some of the dioramas and stuff. So, But anyway, I'm going to go sign off for now. And thank you all for watching. And as I always say, may the force be with you. Have a good night. Bye.